Toro has been my entire life, but I, this is my new love in life, this mug. This mug completes me. I, I, you may never see me seeking out mugs in stores again. I, I, I don't need an, any more mugs in my life. This is it. This is the relationship I was meant to have in my mug kingdom. I mean, I, I'm done. I don't need to find another mug ever again. I have found him and his name is Totoro. Uh, welcome, Totoro. Hey, I realize I never updated you guys on the status of my coconut yogurt. Totally, totally loved the way it came out in my vegan, my vegan coconut yogurt in my Eurostar yogurt maker. Um, I'm about to make up another batch. Disclaimer though, I never added any thickener to it and because it tasted so good just as is. I never thickened it to the consistency of yogurt, so I would call it more of a coconut kefir, perhaps. I don't know. I, I'm totally, I'm probably using the wrong nomenclature there. Um, and along that line, I want to update you guys on the seek out of the vegan protein powder. And again, I feel like I have found my, my, I, I'm done seeking. I mean, I'd be willing to get some more tries, but shout out to VC, y'all. Shout out to VC. The Vitacost brand, like Costco, continues to to win, continues to win. It blends so unbelievably well. It's amazing. Like, I don't know, I'm coming from a background of using whey proteins in the past, which clump quite a bit. This this just blends in completely smoothly into liquids. Um, I really love it. It does not have a disgusting taste to it. It tastes essentially like a light vanilla pea protein powder. Um, not sickeningly sweet, not chemically tasting. I mean, this is, if you're looking for a plain pea protein powder, I highly recommend this Vitacost one. Okay, so I'm just folding laundry here. Um, the task that is adulthood, yes. Um, but updates, guys. Um, if you'll recall, I'm still loving my little sticky lights that I have under there. They're making my um, kind of folding get up a little bit, uh, I don't know, more visual. Um, they've really been helping. Um, they're basically just, uh, they just stick up on there and um, they're battery operated, so. So you'll recall when I first embarked on the Ibana journey, um, that's continuing to save me. I um, went there, I went to Target and picked up these uh, seventh generation free and clear laundry detergent packets. I've really been liking these. Um, you know, I don't know how great they are as far as their, their claims to be good for the environment or whatever, but my impetus for picking these up is that I have eczema and I, want, I, I kind of need uh, dye free type things. Um, so I picked this up, the Free and Clear, because uh, it's by 7th generation, and I've really been loving it. I mean, it doesn't impart any fragrance or anything into my fabrics. I haven't noticed any obvious irritation or anything from it. And I love these little pod things because you just dump them, you just drop one in, and it doesn't, like, make a sticky mess everywhere. Um, so I'm really, I'm really liking this uh, uh, free and clear. I, I recommend it if you have sensitive skin. I, I seem to be tolerating it well. Um, it doesn't have any dyes or fragrance in it, so this is a good one. All right, guys, so I swung by and picked up my mom because uh, it's again. about the noon hour, and she's never had a lettuce witch, so I'm uh, taking her here. I've never been to this witch witch, so I'm hoping it's, uh, it's, a, reliable, it's a good one. Um, I'm always apprehensive to try new uh, um, locations, but... All right, so my mom got. All right, so my mom got my uh, favorite meat option here, which is the uh, Cuban sandwich one. She got it as a lettuce switch. So. Wow. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, it's got um, the Cuban pork. It's really good. This is you my. Not want this to is my favorite meat one. Try to eat this because it'll be very messy. Oh, this looks great. Good cheese. Please. All right. Excuse my manners. Mm. First impression? This is really good. How does it compare to authentic Cuban sandwich uh, in terms of the, the meat profile? Let me bite into the pork and I'll tell you. Okay. It's good. Pretty good for fast it's got food. A mojo kick to it. What I like about the lettuce is it's not like one little wimpy. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's substantial. Like 
and it's far more uh, withstanding compared to the, uh, if you've ever had the Jimmy John's lettuce switch, they give you a wimpy lettuce leaf, so. And I'm trying the black bean burger this time, so. That's beautiful. So it's got uh, lettuce, spinach, tomato, of the black bean burger, and um, the uh, and avocado too, so. That's good. Sam Crozier and I thought they'd be sold out of the last two bags, but they're not, and it's back in my queue. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop. Didn't you get more than one bag? No, because I it's only for one bag oh. of the on the rebate. Otherwise, all right. So we're here at uh, we just went to Kroger and we're here at uh, Tutti Fruity. So mom got what did you get? Taro. Taro and the little bubblies. Taro and almonds and lychee. Now I like to fill the bottom of the bowl with the fruit. <laughs> and then I got some of the taro and uh, mango. And then these little blueberry popper doodles. And my mom also got one of these, which is on Ibotta right now. You, what'd you think of that? Very the good. This kombucha. is my, my favorite kombucha. Um, Your favorite kombucha? Beach. It was good? Yeah. Because I usually get the kombuchas. Uh -huh. Try this pineapple peach. Yeah. And it's really good. Yeah, I like that one. So yeah, I recommend them. It's another gorgeous day. Well, hey guys, I just got back from uh, the grocery store with my mom and uh, going out and getting a little frozen yogurt and I'm just veggie prepping here um, some food for the week. I've got, um, I picked up two uh, red bell peppers. I just like to chop them um, in advance because it just makes things easier. And I like to do it with gum in my mouth because otherwise I'll just eat like two thirds of them as I'm chopping and then I have to go back to the grocery store. Um, and then I, um, I bought a head of uh, cabbage at the grocery store. It was like a dollar. Um, with um, a generous knob, as you saw, of ginger. And uh, that was fresh turmeric that I chopped up. And some onion and a couple of large cloves of garlic. And then just a little bit of water. And then I just slow, slow cook it here on the stove. Slow steam it. Um, but I find that cooking it that way really slow helps. And then the last step that I'll do is to add, um, I've been a huge fan of uh, my sea vegetables, the Pacific Kombu, I'll do that, you know, kind of towards the last hour of cooking to just kind of salt the water a little bit because there's not any sodium in it right now. And this, this imparts a nice flavor to it as well. But, but that is by all means not an essential step. I have um, some tofu here, I'll show you. I'll just explain what I'm doing and then you'll see the results in later vlogs. But this is the tofu that I get at Costco. It's a really good deal in my opinion. That's the House Foods Organic Tofu. Um, and there's like four and a half servings in one of these cube, in one of these containers. And I think you get, uh, I'm gonna say four or five containers with each big box from Costco. I just drain the water out of here and kind of gently press with my fingers um, a little bit extra water out. I cube it up into, you know, four servings. And so usually I will season, usually I'll season my tofu with like a Mrs. Dash or something. That's, that's kind of my typical thing. I'll, I'll season the cubes and then I'll put it on a sheet of aluminum foil sprayed with a little nonstick cooking spray and just bake the cubes at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And then I'll take them out, flip the cubes over and put them back in for like another seven minutes or so and brown the other side. So it's really quick um, and that, that cooks it quite nice. But if you don't tolerate soy, this is obviously off the chopping block. But instead of dashy, I'm gonna shake and bake with turmeric chai elixir. I think this is gonna be delicious. And then I'm gonna serve it on top of uh, my cabbage. And because the cabbage has the fresh turmeric in it and the ginger, and then I'm gonna put this on top and a little nutritional yeast, and I am already excited for that, so. Oh dear. So yeah, that's the um, meal preppage that I have going for me today. Um, but anyways, I'm going to finish chippity chopping up here and then I'm going to head to the gym for my run. 
Well, hey guys, happy Sunday night, doing a little self-care. Um, as you know, typically I come in every evening, Monday through Friday at least, with my 0.1% Adapalene or Differin, which you can now pr purchase over the counter. However, um, I like to take a few days off on the weekend from using um, my Adapalene, uh, just to give my skin barrier a chance to catch up, if you will, particularly as we're heading into the sunnier days and the longer days and I'm outdoors more, and, I, and I gravitate towards going outdoors more. You know, all of these are reasons to uh, to take a few days off uh, from, from a topical retinoid because topical retinoids like adapalene or prescription tretinoin or tazeratine or even, even, um, you got a hair there, even, um, even your retinols that are not as effective, the bottom, the bottom feeder retinols in your cosmeceuticals, um, even those you, I advocate taking a break from. Um, so tonight I came in with uh, with uh, another one of uh, my Korean I call them Korean Korean masks because they're they're from CVS but they're made in Korea so this is as as Korean skincare as I've gotten into just yet um, but I actually enjoy this particular mask this is my second use of it and I believe I have a third use out of it this is the Dead Sea Minerals I don't know if you can see this Dead Sea Mineral mask um, this is an anti-stress clay facial mask that is touted to smooth skin and and deep cleanse pores. Okay, as far as the ingredient profile, you know, I do these masks not for any skin benefit, but for for this one claim on here, I do agree with anti-stress, okay? I, putting mud on my face, I, I agree with you guys, it's relaxing. If somebody would come in and rub my head at the same time, I'd be, I'd be in a coma right now. Um, okay, so one of the ingredients in this that I wanna mention tonight is the, the second ingredient. First ingredient is water. Second ingredient is something called bentonite. A lot of you guys are asking me about this Aztec clay um, mask stuff that's all jazzed up on the interwebs. Okay, uh, as far as I can tell, Aztec clay is essentially bentonite. Not anything that is routinely recommended in dermatology. If you look at acne guidelines, for example, it doesn't mention bentonite, okay? Bentonite, however, is what was used in a lot of the acne studies measuring oil production. They, they'd, use, um, uh, they'd use it to kind of gauge and measure sebum production, um, and I think they'd like weigh the, the clay. Long story short, bentonite it can and does absorb sebum. That that is that has been established. Um, as I said, it's not part of routine um, uh, dermatologic recommendations. So it makes sense to me that bentonite, the ingredient, would be useful in masks aimed at uh, kind of getting the shiny oiliness from the T-zone if that is your skin type. The other ingredient in this is is plankton extract, which is essentially seaweed. Okay, there again, seaweed and algae do not appear in the um, acne guidelines, okay? They don't appear in our textbook as like uh, part of the treatment algorithm for anything, okay? And how I believe things like the snail serums that are so popular and algae-based things and these collagen sleeping masks, the principle of all of these is applying a humectant to your face, okay? And for me, as you've seen in my skincare routine, that has been hyaluronic acid. These are things that naturally occur, that nature makes, okay? You make them in your skin, you know, plants make them. They function to glom onto water, okay? They're, they're hygroscopic. Um, so it makes sense to me that these ingredients are popping up. Anyways, guys. I hope you have a great night. Um, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.